we've spoken on the great resignation numerous times this season on the podcast. And I'm kind of curious from your end, what are you seeing businesses do to retain that young talent and those emerging leaders instead of, you know, so they stay with the company instead of jumping around every two to three years? The great resignation was simmering underneath everything. It would have happened eventually, but maybe at a slow burn because we as leaders fail to recognize what are people really looking for in terms of valuable work. And so it just accelerated that and let this be awakening because if not this and the next crisis that comes up, there's going to be a major shift in what how people want to work. So I just wanted to put that out there. It does exist. It's been labeled and profiled, but it was already there just waiting to happen. Now, to your point about what is the uh, model that people should be thinking about. You talk about the young people, gosh darn it, even us older than 40 or 50 years old, we're starting to show up on our resume as job hopping a little bit too, because maybe it's, we are wanting something very strong. Uh, We need to align our values with the values of the company. Once you get that, that millennial, that young professional is going to stick around a little bit, but they are hungry for feedback. They are hungry for knowledge and they want that soul to be fed. And if they're not getting that within the company, it's the company's responsibility, but they're already taking control of their career. I'm not getting it here. I'm going to go where I get it. So think about those are the leaders that are job hopping because they're taking personal accountability for what they want in the world and how they want to contribute. So I want leaders to think differently and always be asking them, what do they need? What do they want? What can they, how can they help them to be successful? You've been listening to the business communicators. 